Hi, have you ever wondered what a crossbar network is? Here is some explanation for a crossbar network. Let's check it out. In this video, we are going to present the introduction of the crossbar network. How does it work, benefits and drawbacks of the crossbar networks, related info or current issue, and the reference that we use for our presentation. Without any further ado, let's jump to the introduction of the crossbar network. Crossbar network is one of the network topologies. Crossbar networks allow any system processor to connect to any other processor or memory unit so that many processors can communicate without conflict at the same time. As long as the input and output ports requests are free, a new connection can be established at any time. Crossbar networks are used as fundamental components in the design of high-performance small-scale multiprocessors, the design of direct network routers, and the design of large-scale indirect networks. A crossbar network is a non-blocking network in the sense that a processing node's connection to a memory bank does not block any other processing node's connection to other memory banks. The total number of switching nodes required to implement such a network is Q, where Q is P times B. It is reasonable to assume that the number of memory banks B is at least P, otherwise at any given time, there will be some processing nodes that will be unable to access any memory banks. This switch complexity is hard to realize at high data rates as the number of processing nodes become large. Consequently, in terms of cost, cost bar networks are not very scalable. Next, how does the crossbar network work? Crossbar network provides simultaneous connection among all its input and output along with the node. Crossbar network include a switching element SE at the intersection of any horizontal and vertical line inside the switch. They achieve full access and non-blocking capability ability with the crossbar switch and common control equipment used in the crossbar exchange. The active element called cross point are placed between the input and the output line. In the common control switching system, the separation between switching and the control operation allow the usage of switching network by a group of common control switch to establish many calls at the same time on the shared basis. Let's take a look at the features of the crossbar networks. The first one is the common control system indicates in the resources shared while processing a call. Next, in the call processing, the specific route is hardwired because of the wire logic computers. Then, the flexible system design contributes to the suitable ratio selection is allowed for a specific switch. Also, to ease the maintenance of the crossbar switching systems, fewer moving parts are needed. This is the figure of the crossbar switching matrix. The crossbar switch can switch inputs to outputs. The matrix of a crossbar is formed by M times N sets of contacts vertically and horizontally. The setting of the switching fabric is under the control of a switching logic circuit. The source of inputs first sends request signals to the switching logic circuit. The switching logic circuit will set the switching fabric to route the request from the input to their destinations. The diagonal crossbar matrix is when the matrix is in a triangular format and can be called triangular matrix or two-way matrix. 
the failure of a single switch will make some subscriber inaccessible. These blocking switch are work upon multiple switch and such network are called line frames. The diagonal cross point metric is fully connected. The diagonal portions are the cross point connecting to the same subscriber again. A line that is already connected to the terminal has no need of connecting it again to the same terminal. For n number of subscribers, if the diagonal point are also considered, the total number of cross point will be n in bracket n plus 1 per 2. If the diagonal point are not considered, then the total number of cross point will be n in bracket n minus 1 per 2. As the number of nodes n increase, the cross point proportionally increase up to 2n. Therefore, as either the lower part or the upper part of the diagonal points in the matrix can be considered, the whole matrix considering the lower portion will be as the figure shown. In addition, a switching fabric is called non-blocking if multiple simultaneous requests destined for different outputs or destinations can always be forwarded. Furthermore, the cost of such a network is O, where O is N and M, which with a large N and M is prohibitively high. In small-scale share memory multiprocessors, crossbar networks have traditionally been used, where all processors read from O write to a different memory. And last but not least, the system requires one processor to proceed while the others wait when two or more processors are competing for the same memory module. Here is some explanation if different inputs request the same output. Let's say if CPU 0 wants to access memory module 3, which means it needs to send address value to memory module 3. Then, CPU 1 wants to access memory module 3, which means it needs to send address value to memory module 3. In the meantime, CPU 2 wants to access memory module 0, which means it needs to send address value to memory module 0. Next, CPU 3 wants to access memory module 2 which means it needs to send address value to memory module 2. When two or more processors contain for the same memory module, arbitration lets one processor proceed while the others wait. Like other network topologies, the crossbar network has benefit and drawbacks too. The benefits of the crossbar network are a non-blocking network where a new connection can be established at any time as long as the request input and output ports are free. Besides, it provides full connectivity, can handle all requests that are permutation. A dedicated path can be formed from each input to its corresponding output without any conflicts. Share channels. Furthermore, it is highly useful in a multiprocessor system. All processors can transmit a memory request simultaneously provide that there is no port and bank contention. Last but not least, it gives maximum utilization of bandwidth. High bandwidth especially desirable both inputs and output are connected to high speed processors. Despite having a lot of benefits, the crossbar networks also have some drawbacks such as the scalability issue. The number of physical connections of a switch is limited by hardware constraints. For example, the number of available pins and wiring area. Plus, it is a single layer switch. When the cross point of a switch is closed, it connects one of the inputs to one of the outputs. It will prevent the connection between two devices whose line intersect at the cross point. Lastly, it is expensive to build. 
materials that are required in a large number of processors, memory modules, and switch will be costly as the crossband network has a large network size. There are some researches done by others and current issue related to the crossband network. According to Bistoni and Jahan Shahi in 2014, in wide range applications of multiprocessor systems, interconnection networks are used to create links between different nodes, such as processors and memory modules. In interconnection networks, however, there is a fundamental problem, that is, the blocking issue in these networks decreases the efficiency of the networks and thus the performance of the entire system. Using non-blocking crossbar network is the key choice for dealing with this problem. In 2020, Wang mentioned in his research that in-memory processing architectures have been suggested as a promising solution for the future computing application to solve the Von Neumann bottleneck that lead to both energy and speed degradations. An in-memory computing system that can theoretically perform parallel and general computing tasks based on resistive random access memory crossbar array that is reconfigurable. One of the research that was done by Denim in the same year is where memorizing crossbar array are considered to be the future of non-volatile memories and neuromorphic structure of high density. However, significant challenge related to the passive crossbar architecture such as current sneak issue impose limitation on their performance. Using a one transistor one memory store system is one of the well-known ways to overcome these problems. As stated by the Gregorius article in 2020, a novel approach known as software-defined power domains that relies on a component of an energy crossbar has been proposed. The solution allows arbitrary electrical topologies to be set up on densely related physical microgrids. By proposing a system organization based around this crossbar that allows software-defined electrical topologies with the necessary digital control architecture that manage dynamic and transparent transfer from one group of energy actors to another, enhance the state of the art. And lastly, an article wrote by Red in 2020 state that as effective communication model that can provide high bandwidth and low latency wireless link between long distance core wireless network on chip, WINOC, has been introduced. However, the increase in demand for the use of the mutual wireless network and the presence on a chip of a few number of these channels contributes to port contention in WINOX. The issue can be solved by a new crossbar switch arbitration system that can reasonably assign port priorities based on the existing traffic load and the wireless channel bandwidth. This is the list of reference that we use to help for a better understanding of the crossbar network. Hope you are enjoy our presentation and thank you. Have a nice day ahead and good luck.